Good afternoon everyone and welcome back. Welcome back to Crew, where we are at the back of Webb House, which is an old orphanage. Now we've come to check this place out because I've had locals contact me and I think that the migrants are in here. So we know there is actually security on the front but it's it's all locked on the front. So I thought we'd just take a little walk up the side to see if we could get any footage. So this is Webb House and it's an old orphanage in Crew, which was supposed to be being done up to make flats. Hi Ellen. But when I do a little bit of digging on this place, I said it was going to be flats in 2019, but then in 2021, it was uh, it was back up for sale. Thanks everyone for tuning in this afternoon. We're a little bit late today because we we went via um, another hotel not far from here that we reported from. It must be about a year ago now. So we just went in to get a, a quick little report like you do. Yeah, and the security got a little bit upset and yeah, it got a little bit rowdy. So it's in three little pieces is that. So I'll, I'll put that out tomorrow. Yeah, trying to tell us that the, there were no asylum seekers in the hotel. Or migrants, or economic migrants, or illegal immigrants. Yet the gate was padlocked. And like I said, I think it was about four security. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Steve. Hi, everyone else in the chat. So we're coming around to the front entrance here. Um, so, yeah, we just need to go and ask this security to get some questions. I have had a local that has been down yesterday asking questions. So let's see what he... Let's see what it's like when we go answer... I'm sorry if the sound's not great, guys. I've just realised that um, I've left my microphone in my pocket, which is <laughs> bulldog laughing. It's not the best place to leave it, is it? It's absolutely beautiful around here. Ooh, there's a car coming out. This is a building just to the left here. Excuse me, can I come in? Uh, Why you got the camera for, please? Uh, I'm just a reporter and I'm just reporting your ID on this. Reporting? I don't need ID. What do you mean you don't ID? How do I know it's a reporter? Where's your security ID? Where's, yeah, where's your ID? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm security here. And why? Oh, why, why, why? You could be a tea boy. Excuse me? How do we know that you could be a tea boy? Um, Let's start again with the, with the manners that you have. I'm just coming to lock the gate and you I was, to... yeah, I was just coming to walk up to you this orphanage and... Who are you trying to ID? Pardon? I'm a reporter, you I am. Is this your house? No, but this isn't your house. I'm, I'm, I'm I, I presume I'm this is public. So it, it belongs to the actual individual of peace and life. But it says it is, so why you come with an attitude already? What is it? You started uh, with the attitude, Carl. We, listen, we have had reports from concerned locals about uh, migrants uh, being uh, in. The, about We have had reports from concerned locals about migrants being in here, yeah. No, there's no migrants here, look. There's no migrants here. This is the problem. I'm born and raised in the... So, so why are you security on here? Because normally we get security on these places. People were coming in here and they were destroying the property, they were urinating, they were smoking drugs, there was supply tipping, we had to move a load of things, they were throwing rubbish in. 
So you can you can assure me and, day, and and the locals that there isn't uh, migrants in here. Two agitators. <laughs> no, yeah, you tried to say that we were agitators. Seems strange, guys, but I've had locals uh, telling me that this has been taken over by the boat people. So, anyone local, if you can give us any more information. You can find about us on, on the, This is uh, where we're saying that they are. When I'm closing the gate, you just come through and um, there's no, we had people here before, there's no migrants. What do I think, guys? So where, where are you reporting for? I'm just a citizen journalist, but I have local people that message me and ask me if I will come and report from places when they're concerned. Because they think that there's migrant men in this building. Migrant men? Yes, yeah. There's lots of them. Have you not seen them? There's like about 50,000 of them that came in this year. From where? Uh, all, all different places. Well, France mainly. Um, everyone here is legally. I'm born and Okay, I'll take, yeah, I'll take your word for it, mate. Then thank you. I couldn't understand why there was security on there. I was just coming to just film up to there. You can have security on your lock. You can have security in shops as well. Mm. You can have security in anywhere. So at, at the end of the day, like... You know, so so uh, is there actually people staying in, in this building? Is it occupied? Question. If you look on there and you put Admin Evil into a piece of light, you know that exactly as I'm going to explain it. So do, do you help people in this country? Do I help do, people? Do you help people in this country? Well, do you help people that are like homeless on the streets? Homeless on the streets? Uh, you mean what? Do you mean to bring them here? You mean? Do, you yeah, yeah. Do you no, help them? No, none of that. There. I've just told you that already. So, so I've just, <laughs> I've just told you that already. It's a beautiful building, though, isn't it? Absolutely yes, it is. stunning. So, who who bought this building then? Because it, it went back uh, up for sale, didn't it? A couple of years. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Mm, can someone just Google that? Uh, it'll be on YouTube. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, guys, um, I need to go and do a little bit of research on that. Um, I'm not 100% sure he will tell the truth yeah. I know. So if we do have any locals in crew and anyone knows anything different that is happening at the old or orphanage, then please drop me a line. So thank you guys for, for tuning in to that one. So they either are in or they're not in. We're not too sure about that one, but at least it's out there. It's uh, it's on my page and we'll see. Right, we've got quite a lot of other locations to go to today. So if you just bear with us, we've got um, some more hotels to go to. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, hit the likes, guys. Please share this. Please subscribe to my channel. And we will be out there exposing all these migrant hotels. All these migrant hotels that mainstream media don't like to publish. They only seem to publish when, when they after. can't actually go at the minute guys because the car is not far away so <laughs> mm, a strange one if it's if it's not migrants in there then fair enough it's not but there's a lot of concerned people around here that thinks that migrants are in there so I've been a reporter from there thanks guys good afternoon from Yorkshire Rose and Bulldog <laughs>